Hi, uh, stay with us. If you've got 10 or 15 minutes, I'm gonna walk you through this home that we've got just come on the market here at 27 Minto Crescent in Arana Hills. Stay tuned and I'll be with you shortly. Hi, my name's Marlene Baker here at Calibre Real Estate and I'd love to show you through this home that we've got that's just come onto the market at 27 Minto Crescent in Arana Hills. So what we might do while we're outside, uh, if you do have any questions while I'm going through this home or afterwards, feel free to ask those now. Give us a like and a thumbs up and we'll make sure you do get uh, those questions answered and we'll also keep you updated on other properties that we have coming up too. So we might just have a bit of a look on the outside of this home. It's a nice rectangle size block of land. Uh, now the street, nice quiet little street here. Uh, down the end of the street, if you keep going down here, you'll end up at the Arana uh, Plaza, which is where all of the shops are. So you'll have Coles, Aldi's, specialty stores uh, down there too. So quite almost everything that you'd need in a complex. Uh, not too far down this way is also the Arana Leagues Club. So they do do, what, Tuesday nights, $15 sirloin at the moment. Um, and there is the bus that drops you home as well. So it's a really convenient location here in Arana Hills. Feel free to like and comment as to which your favorite spot in Arana Hills. Uh, we certainly are in a really, really convenient location. We've got Dawson Parade a little ways away, not too close to it here either. So you can see the home here sits in an in easterly direction. Uh, the backyard has a lovely northern view there too. So um, very lovely little spot. So let me know if you do have any questions as we are going through this home. Uh, we're happy to answer those for you now. So you see the beautiful rock work as we're going through this property. Uh, we are here at 27 Minto Crescent in Arana Hills. Have a look down the side here. We've got some lovely gates there. And up the stairs entering. Marlene, we've just got a question about the size of the land. Oh, questions already? Yeah. Thank you, people. Uh, so this one sits on a 607 square meter size block. So as you're coming into the home, you can see that it's got this large entry, um, probably a sleep out. It is, however, just a little extension that would have put on at some time. Apparently this home was originally built by Italians. Um, and as we know, Italians like nice strong. So downstairs, like good, strong, solid pillars, nice uh, concrete flooring down there as well. And also what I'll show you inside um, is the walls, which are not asbestos, which is lovely to know. Uh, so we've got a beautiful outlook here. Now, apparently years ago, when some of these trees were down, you could see the city from here. So certainly if you were ever looking to demolish and rebuild, uh, that is an opportunity here. And I dare say you would end up with city views as you go up. So this is only oh, the second time the home has actually been sold. So it's been held a long time in families. Originally there was the Italian family and then the family that I'm selling the home for as well. So we'd certainly love it to go to, you know, nice people. So only nice people need apply. <laughs> and Marlene, what catchment area is this one in? So this is, uh, if you're looking for primary schools or high schools, we've got Grovely down the road. Uh, and Mitchelton as well. So there's buses that run down there or easy to cycle your bike down there too. So we've got a beautiful large space here, uh, a nice lounge area and look plasterboard walls, plasterboard ceiling too. And we've got an air conditioner that runs in here as well, as well as the fan. So perfect uh, as we're leading into the summer seasons. Now, uh, as well as the dining area here, We've got the kitchen in behind us and then the bedrooms are tucked over to the other side of the home. So a good space here for the bedrooms. Uh, it does have fly screens as well. I know sometimes these windows are a little bit harder to fly screen, but with these little sliding bits here, it is make sure that there are screens throughout the home as well. Uh, we might duck into the bedroom area. So you can see we've got good amounts of storage. I've got a little uh, treat for people in the uh, bathroom here as well. But I know, but we might go down this end because uh, I've got something pretty cool that's in the master bedroom as well. 
So uh, master bedroom. Now it's a, a good size room and it's got the window here, but what I love about it is not only do we have the large wardrobes over this side, floor to ceiling, but we've got this bonus room here. So, oh, the world is your oyster as to what you would like to decide to do with this bonus room. So we are here at 27 Minto Crescent in Arana Hills. Look at the size of this room. Ooh. Now, can you imagine just popping a little ensuite in here? Yeah. So the good thing about this home is it has the space already under the roof line to be able to just pop in an ensuite. Plumbing's easily accessible downstairs too. So plenty of room, plenty of room. Walk-in wardrobe. Walk-in wardrobe, shoe cupboards. Uh, look, well, you do already have a wardrobe over there. That's why I was thinking an ensuite <laughs> yeah. might be great, but certainly. I just love a walk-in wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> lots of options for you as well. Um, now, underneath these carpets, there are beautiful floorboards that are just screaming to be polished. Uh, or you could always replace, put carpet in the bedrooms and then leave the polished floors up in there. So again, we've got some nice robes in here. We've got this built-in storage section, nice high ceilings, and then the fans in here too, and a beautiful outlook. So here we're looking out over towards uh, the Capera I don't know if we can see the new Bunnings over there. Probably be very close to being able to see it. And then you can see up to the TV towers too, up there on Mount Cutha. So do let me know if you have any questions as we're going through this home. Uh, we're here at 27 Minto Crescent in Arana Hills. It's a home that has just come onto the market. And uh, maybe I'll show you the bathroom. So good space here. So got a bathtub, shower the basin behind this little door here. I don't know if Amy can get in here and have a little bit of a look. This is my little surprise. Look, laundry chute. Ha -ha! Ah! How handy is that? No need to carry clothes downstairs. Just pop them in there. They just magically appear downstairs. Oh, if only they would just wash themselves though. All right, <laughs> third bedroom. Again, it's got floor to ceiling, um, mirrored cupboard doors here. Uh, it's got the lovely fan and a built-in shelf over here as well. So it's certainly been plenty of room to be able to put a double bed in here. Uh, and uh, again, lovely outlook and fly screens. So up here we do have the separate toilet, which is fantastic. Uh, and then we go back into the main living spaces. So into the kitchen here, we've got lovely new appliances. Uh, so it is gas cooking at the top and electric down the bottom. So it's the ideal for what people are after. Um, remember, if you do have any questions while we're here at 27 Minto Crescent in Arana Hills, just let me know. Uh, we'll be online now. We are doing this live, uh, but we'll also be checking in later on. So if you do happen to have any questions at any time, just let me know. Another question we've got actually is, is it fully fenced or what's the... People yes, are no. It. So we'll go and have a little bit of a look at the fences yeah. outside. Um, some of the fences, a little bit lower. So, you know, just this height, they'd be fine for my dogs. But if you've got one of those dogs that jumps a six foot fence, you might need to put a little extension on the so top. So no of Dobermans? Them. Probably, well, we accept Dobermans. They are lovely dogs. <laughs> yeah, just um, not with the fence. <laughs> well, they might just need to put a little top on it. Uh, all right, so we've got uh, the timber cupboards here as well. A nice pantry area there too. And then this leads to the outdoor area um, and to the lovely yard. So the good thing about this home as well um, is it's got a tile roof. So none of the asbestos roofs that are gonna cost you $20,000 to replace. We've got a lovely tiled roof up here on top. We get a thumbs up from Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. And water tank galore. So perfect for the gardens. A little bird feeder over here as well. So we'll go probably for a little bit of walk out the yard because you can see that it's massive. Um, so you can see the fencing that runs along here. And I'd love to show you this outdoor barbecue area. Got this big beautiful tree. So still a lovely opportunity to uh, head to the back. Old school barbecue that we've got here, nice and solid. All it just needs is a little bit of oil on there and bring it back to its former glory. Uh, we've got this other big lovely tree and a huge, huge yard. So 
so Amy's not even at the back of the property but you can see that perfect spot for dogs or kids to run around you can pop a pool out here cricket pitch send it over there and what is also great is side access so plenty of room down here that if you needed to bring a car a boat or a caravan in super easy pop a shed down the back if you needed to stack up lots of different so awesome side access here um, which I know a lot of people need you know you've got extra toys extra cars uh, it certainly could be a good investment property a perfect first home for people um, let us know though if you do have any questions we might check out this downstairs which is like a bonus area and how do people find out um, inspection times and information about it uh, well we'll have we'll post a link here for you as well uh, we'll be having quite a lot of inspections uh, we like to give people a great opportunity to come through we've got some on tomorrow night so Thursday night uh, a couple on Saturday but definitely come on down and have a look at the home nothing like seeing it in person all right so here we go um, great great storage area so we've got the double garage here um, it's been nicely built in with the brickwork underneath and then there'd be plenty of room down here if you had kids they could cycle their little bikes while they were down here uh, if you're looking for something for tools you've got massive area over here that you could make into a workshop there's already shelving here in place perfect for uh, an extra beer fridge down here too you could set it up as a party area lots of different options and there's these unusual chains that we've been I think the owners here still haven't been able to work out the original owners that put them in but oh yeah Amy's showing you these amazing floorboards so can you just imagine how mm. that color will come up so it'll be hardwood timber so you don't get homes made of hardwood timber anymore because it's just too hard to work with haha oh, that's my joke <laughs> for the day uh, all right so we've got um, nice new electricity points in here as well and then we've got some storage here for don't know if I should open this one this is where the laundry chute comes out just in case a pile of clothing <laughs> yeah. do fall out because the trolley's already here waiting for it uh, and then we've got some um, very solid wash tubs here too so uh, can't get those anymore either they certainly don't build homes as strong as this one here at 27 Minto Crescent so do let me know if you've got any other questions as you're coming through uh, this property uh, we do like to do a bit of a virtual walk through but again there's nothing like coming through the home itself really conveniently located uh, here in Arana Hills and it's a perfectly positioned so you can see we get amazing morning sun uh, coming here into the yard um, and the yard would face a, face a northerly direction too which is the ideal direction here in Queensland uh, so if you do have any questions let me know uh, we're here at 27 Minto Crescent in Arana Hills. My name's Marlene Baker here at Calibre Real Estate. And yeah, I think that's a walk through the home. 607 square meter size block. Happy to consider all offers and we'll pop a little link down here, which will give you access to the photos and a link as to where you can next come in and view it. No problems. Take care. Bye.